Please join me in welcome my friend all the way from the United States of America. <laughs> Tiffany Montgomery. Uh, she's one of the few people, amen. She's one of the few people that is bold to confront the trends that have gone out of sync. Uh, it is obvious that she's part of the struggle in the restoration of apostolic Christianity. So receive my friend. I have a father who will never ever fail me. I have a father who will never ever fail me. I don't need backup, thank you. Jesus is my father. He will never ever fail me. He's the rock of ages. He will never ever fail. I just want you to put God at the forefront of your mind. We often talk about the office of a prophet and the office of an apostle, but how many of you know that the best office to be in is the office of a daughter and the office of a son? That's the office that you have that you can go against principalities. That's the office you can have that when you bow down, you know that your father is not going to let somebody sucker punch you because God's not going to let anybody touch you while you're bowing down to him. He said in Zechariah, I'll be a wall of fire around about you and glory in your midst. He said, if you touch you, you're touching the apple of his eye. So you're, you're, many people are focused on titles, but God said, just be my child and watch what I do. A lot of us worship God based off of the relationship we had with our natural father. And a lot of people's natural fathers were sexually abusive to you. A lot of natural fathers were abandoned you and rejected you. And so you end up serving a God who rejects and abandons. You end up trying to get to God and he's always forsaking you. And it's not God that's forsaking you, it's your natural father that forsook you. And sometimes you need to wake up in the morning every single day and remind yourself that, yes, he's your maker. Yes, he's Jehovah Gabor, God who fights for you. Yes, he's Rapha. He's God that heals. Yes, he is Jehovah Mekadesh. He sets you apart. Yes, he's Jehovah Shalom. Yes, God is the God that sits. The heaven is his throne. The earth is his footstool and the clouds are but dust to your feet. But how many of you know that he's your father? And so the reason I want to just sing this for a few more seconds is because I want to put you in a power position. And your power position that you don't fear the faces of men and the power of position where you can go and say, thus saith the Lord and not be afraid of the backlash is because you know you stand in the office of a child. So we're going to sing it one more time. You can close your eyes and sing it. I want you to just see God wrapping you in his arms I have a father who will never ever fail me I have a father who will never ever fail me Jesus is my father he will never ever fail me he's the rock of ages he will never ever fail. One more time. I have a father who will never ever fail me. I have a father who has never ever failed me. Jehovah is my father. He has never ever failed me. He's the rock of ages. He will never ever fail. 